Okay, so here's another trig one. This one's going to take us a little while. So um, sines and cosines are a great idea, and then there's a, a little trick that we're going to do here. So sine theta over cosine theta plus 1 over cosine theta minus 1, all over sine theta over cosine theta minus 1 over cosine theta plus 1. Uh, again, um, whenever I have denominators within denominators, I like to multiply everything by the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the top by cosine theta and the bottom by cosine theta. So notice when I do it here, these will cancel, those will cancel. I'll just have cosine theta in the end. Those will cancel, those will cancel, cosine on the end. So let me just go back to black. So those two can cosines cancel. I get sine theta plus cosines cancel. 1 minus cosine theta all over sine theta minus 1 plus cosine theta. I'm just going to change the order here. I don't know why the page just moved. So I'm just going to do sine theta minus cosine theta plus 1. I don't know why I just put that parenthesis there. Why my paper keeps moving. All over sine theta plus cos... Why is it moving? Cosine theta minus 1. <coughs> So I'm going to take a negative out of this numerator here. So sine theta minus, so this is cosine theta minus 1. And the reason I did that is now my numerator and denominators are the same, except, uh, except cosine theta minus 1. So, so this is plus and this is minus. So I'm going to use the idea of multiplying by a conjugate. I'm going to multiply um, the top and bottom by sine theta minus cosine theta minus 1 and sine theta minus, why do I keep forgetting to write the S, cosine theta minus 1. So, um, not that you would ever think of this, um, but uh, this is just a technique that you can use for a problem that's pretty involved, like this one here. So, when I multiply these two, this times this is sine theta. This times this is negative sine theta, cosine theta minus 1. This times this is minus sine theta cosine theta minus 1, and this times this is plus cosine theta minus 1 quantity squared. And my denominator is similar. So I get, oh, that's a sine squared. I get sine squared theta minus sine theta cosine theta minus 1 plus sine theta cosine theta minus 1 minus cosine theta minus 1 quantity squared. <clears throat> so I'm going to multiply now here. So I get sine squared theta minus sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta plus, well, if I multiply this binomial here, I get cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 all over sine squared theta minus sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta. So that's those two. So now those two is plus sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta minus, I'm going to multiply this and put a negative up front, so I get cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 quantity. So now, <clears throat> this and this is 1. Uh, anything else? This and this is 2 sine theta. I 
this and this is negative 2 sine theta cosine theta and I'm just left with these two guys down at the end minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 my denominator uh, let's just dis distribute this negative then we'll do some canceling so I'm just going to rewrite it so just bear with me here so now I'm going to distribute this negative. I get negative cosine squared theta plus 2 cosine theta minus 1. So now let's do some canceling. Sine squared. And there's really no canceling to be done with the sine squared. So that was a bad example. So let's choose a different color. Uh, these two cancel. So they're gone. I don't need to write them down. As well as this and this, they're gone. So I'm really just left with sine squared minus cosine squared and 2 and minus that. So the numerator, I have a 2 and a 2. So 2 plus 2 sine theta minus 2 sine theta cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta all over sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta plus 2 cosine theta minus 1. So let's just take a little peek here. Uh, let's just make a little note that sine theta over cosine theta plus 1 over cosine theta is the same as tan theta plus secant theta. So that gives me sine theta plus 1 over cosine theta. So that means in this denominator here, I want to make this so I only have cosines. And then in the numerator, I only want to have sine. So I need to get rid of this cosine somehow. I'll get rid of that in a second. But I can easily get rid of this sine squared right here. Because if uh, 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta, if I multiply this whole thing by negative 1, negative 1 plus sine squared theta equals negative cosine squared theta, that means this and this is the same thing as this. So I now have a negative cosine squared theta down in the denominator. So let me get rid of this stuff here and then squeeze that back in. So I now have a negative cosine squared theta, that's those two put together, minus cosine squared theta plus 2 cosine theta. Here I'm now going to, um, let me get a different color here, I'm going to factor by grouping. I'm going to group those two. And I'm going to group these two. <clears throat> so I take out a 2. I get 2, 1 plus sine theta. I take out a negative 2 cosine theta. So negative 2 cosine theta gives me sine theta plus 1. And so now I have 2 minus 2 cosine theta and 1 plus sine theta. And now this is negative 2 cosine squared theta plus 2 cosine theta. So I'm going to take out a 2 up here and take out a negative 2 cosine over here. So I'm just about done. So take out a 2. I get 2, 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta all over take out a negative 2 cosine theta gives me uh, I don't think I wanted to take out a negative because I want to keep this cosine negative okay so let's take out a 2 cosine I don't want to take out a negative out because I have a negative up in the numerator and a cosine so I'm going to leave this cosine negative so I'm just going to take a 2 cosine out so 2 cosine theta and then that gives me negative cosine theta plus 1 and notice how I've already crossed it out these two are going to cancel out and these two twos are going to cancel out so I get 1 plus sine theta all over cosine theta now we can think of this fraction here as kind of the uh, ba backwards of adding two fractions. Everybody knows that when you add these two fractions, provided the denominators are the same, you can add 4 plus 7, right? It's still over 3. 
I know this is 11 over 3, but I'm more interested in the fact that if I can go this way with confidence, then therefore I can go this way um, using the same logic. So therefore I can rewrite this as 1 over cosine and sine over cosine. So 1 over cosine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta. And so 1 over cosine is secant theta, and this is tangent theta. And I'm done.